How are you? Today is Wednesday, the 4th of October, and we are going to look at yesterday's trades. We're going to look at today's potential trades, and we're going to look at the important news for today as well. So let's start with yesterday and let's look at the trade that I took. And it was Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, and we were looking to short this pair. Why were we looking to short it? Well, we was in an uptrend and then kapow, we've been in a downtrend ever since. All right, so we're in a downtrend. We also had this candle that broke this level of support. Yeah, you can see it was a real important level, guys. But this candle here broke that level of support and was also a candle to tell us it was a continuation of the downtrend. Yeah, because we were getting lower lows as well with that candle. Okay, so based on that candle, guys, we were just trying to take price back down to this blue line here, this 0650. Why was that our target? Well, you can see there's a level through here, guys, that could have been potential um, support. Yeah, so we just wanted to pick the first psychological level before support. So that was our target, and it pretty much, well, almost hit it, but then kiwi news happened this morning yeah we had uh, the interest rate decision come out but we had already made some money before then guys so let me explain how if we drop down to the h1 now it was simply this guys you know again not rocket science what i show you very uh just reading charts price action and if you understand that you can get into good trades um actually let's start with the h4 because it was about this level here really guys yeah what was this once support here when it breaks you know it's proven to be good resistance here okay and it was as simple as that how and again how many times do i mention this pattern yeah what was once support becomes very good resistance and vice versa i mention this a lot um so yeah, there you go, guys. But it was actually a H1 entry because price had come to that level that we spoke about, you know, this level through here. And we got a bearish reaction. Yeah, so we entered... Actually, let me zoom in so you can see that, guys. So we entered on this candle here. Yeah, clearly a nice entry candle, a candle that tells me sellers are in control. Entered here, okay. Put my stop above here so entered here and then i'm just looking left guys i'm thinking where is the next logical level where i can put my stop or hedge and hide yeah and it's here guys yeah this was the last swing high on the h1 so i put my stop up here all right guys and then entered here um i eventually took some profit around here okay took some profit here for 80% and then I let 20% run and woke up to this, <laughs> which is not what you want to wake up to, but you know, no problem guys. We'd already secured 80% profit. And, you know, before I got my Z's and went to bed, all I did was, you know, we entered here, took my stop and just moved it to the last H1 swing high and move my stop from here throughout the day i moved it to here above this level and then eventually last night i moved it to here and you can see i literally just got taken out for my last 20 percent you know and that was literally break even a little bit in profit um if i was awake i would have moved my stop loss to here yeah but i wasn't Okay, and then that happened. But guys, broke even on the 20% and made nice profit on the 80%. Happy days, happy trader. I hope you took the trade. Um, the only other trade from yesterday was this. It was Swiss franc against the Japanese yen. And the yen pairs we'll look at in a minute. They have gone crazy. So if we start with a day chart, what were we looking to do? So... As we know, it was in this descending triangle, price broke down, price has come back up to a key, key level, yeah? And we've got this nice bearish wick 
you know, literally at resistance at the moving average 20. This is double whammy resistance in here. Yeah. And we got a nice bearish candle and, you know, and the rest is history, as they say. Um, so, yeah, that was Swiss franc Japanese yen, guys. That was the idea. But our target was just here, guys. But this is why, you know, things like this is why you let some profit run. Yeah, let some profit run. You would have taken another, you know, from our first target, you would have, you know, another 200 odd pips. Yeah, so let some profit run. Um, having said that, guys, this was difficult for me to get into. And let me explain why. So as you can see, guys, on the H4, yeah, we, we could see a H4 uptrend. And we were waiting for a break of this level through here. All right. It had, you know, broken. It had been, it had been an important level over here, 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 so here. And if it broke, it was a change in H4 structure. And it did break on the H1. And let me show you. So on the H1, you know, it broke. Yeah, you can see it broke here. But it broke with a bullish wick. Okay, so I said to myself, well, let's wait and see what the H4 candle does. So then I went down to the H4 candle. And then this was this candle. You know, and it had a big bullish wick and it had already hit and target so for me it was difficult to trade that um so i didn't get in on this pair and then this was news driven guys all right so yeah but if you did get on this guys i know a couple guys did in the vip discord um yeah nice trade i bet you were laughing when it was down here um all right guys so those were the two trades from yesterday let's take a look at today's trades now <music> Guys, if you enjoyed yesterday's analysis, then come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, smash that notification button. And if everyone could please smash the like button as well. It really helps support the channel and the video. Gracias. Thank you, Shan. Shukran. Um, uh, th these, we're going to start here, guys. We're going to start with some of the yen pairs. But before I do, um, let's just mention a few things that the channel does. So first of all, guys, we've got the free Discord channel. It's free. We've got traders in there sharing knowledge, ideas. We've got indicators, psychology, money management, loads of cool things, guys. It's free. Come join it. The link is in the video description. Secondly, guys, we have the VIP Discord channel as well. You do have to pay for this, but you get access to me throughout the trading day, as in you can ask me questions if you need help with anything. I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen. We have two other expert traders sharing their trade ideas as well. I give you exclusive content every week, like tutorial-style exclusive content. And we give you access to a performance coach. So loads of value in the VIP Discord, guys. Come check it out. The link is in the video description. Next, guys, if you would like to learn how to trade, yeah, then I offer a mentorship program. If you're interested in this, then drop us an email and we'll send you the details of the mentorship program. Next, guys, if you watch the vids every day and would like to show your support for the channel, then you can. You can become a Simply Forex YouTube member. And we've got silver, gold, and legend um, categories. And each level has its own perks for doing so as well, guys. So check them out. Again, the link is in the video description. Um, also, what I want to mention, guys, yes, don't forget the live stream today, 8 a.m. New York EST time. Join us then, guys, um, and we will uh, have a live stream together. Um, also, guys, yeah, if you haven't yet and you, you're looking for investment, yeah, and you want to increase your trading capital, then check out the vid we did about Darwin. Yeah, check it out. If you're looking for investment, check that out. Right, trades for Wednesday, the 4th of October. As I said, we're going to start with the yen pairs. And ordinarily, yeah, I would love to short some of these yen pairs. We have been shorting some of these yen pairs, and I would like to continue. But, yeah, you know, we've been in this 
range for so long on euro yen this is just one example there's loads of yen pairs that have broken down yeah and we've broken out of there okay i would love to short that but look at the wick on that that's bounced off another support level down here so how much no matter how much i want to get in on this trade i can't and it's the same for a lot of yen pairs like they are breaking down they are at weekly levels cad yen is yeah and we've had a break of this last low that is a daily structure change would like to sell this but look at that candle yeah you go to any one let's go to pound yen we was already short in this anyway but again, you know, this is a continuation, yeah? We've got a break of these lows, yeah, with this candle here. But again, loads of buying pressure on the bottom of the wick. So, yeah, no matter how much those yen pairs have broken down and broken structure, I, I, I cannot trade them, yeah, because those candles are just too outrageously uh, bullish on the wicks, guys. So I just can't however i do have some trades today guys and the first one is this it's aussie dollar us dollar so not only am i seeing a bit of aussie dollar weakness i'm seeing well the world is seeing us dollar strength okay so this aussie dollar us dollar makes sense guys and if i if i just show you on the weekly chart so you can see my target guys so potentially you know price could make its way back down to these lows this 6 to 10 level so we still got another 100 pips to move into all right if i go back to the day chart now you will see that price continues to break down yeah we was in this range yeah until it broke down yeah at this point we have lower lows yeah lower lows we're in a downtrend we get a it, retraces we get a nice reaction at the last highs if you remember guys we were shorting it from here price has come down and even with this candle now this was the catalyst because it's broken these lows again we're getting lower 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 lows okay um and structurally it's good this is a very bearish candle yeah we've broken these lows We've got room to move into, you know, lots of reasons to take the trade. So let's drop down to the lower time frames and see where we can trade this from. Let, let's do the H1, actually, guys. Things will be a little bit more clearer. Actually, they won't. Let's go back to the H4. So this level through here, guys, is the bottom of the daily range. Yeah, you can see price has reacted many times here. So if I zoom back in now, clearly this level is a good level to enter. Yeah, and also you've got the moving average 20 coming down. You know, time price catches up. This could be a really interesting level, all right? And then if we get a bearish reaction, we can start taking price lower. I would take some money here, take some profit, and let some profit run. Um, or you can see this is actually a daily low that's that daily low yeah so price might just come to here guys and then we get a bearish reaction and then we can start selling from here as well okay so a couple of gray zones a couple of options of where we can short aussie dollar from so that's the first idea aussie dollar us dollar short <laughs> excuse me haven't had my vodka this morning the next trade is this so we spoke about aussie dollar weakness and this is a nice trade there's a there's a couple of things that well there's one thing i don't like but there's more reasons to like this trade so let me explain so this is pound aussie dollar and we're looking to buy it as i said aussie dollar weakness and this is a nice weekly level let me get rid of that yeah this is a nice weekly level price has reacted here 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 you get the idea this is a nice weekly level okay if we zoom in now you can see that at this weekly level we've got a doji which tells us you know these sellers 
here are slowing down. Doesn't necessarily mean that they've stopped, but it means they're slowing down. All right. And then if we go down to the day chart, you can see we have had a structure break on the day. Funnily enough, we spoke about this in the VIP Discord um, yesterday. Yeah, so we're at a weekly level, and now we're looking for daily structure to break, and it has. Yeah, so we're in a downtrend at this point. Yeah, this is the last lower high. It doesn't make a lower low, always a red flag. Yeah, that price could be slowing down or changing. And we saw that on the weekly chart as well. And then Kapow, we've got this candle here that broke these last highs. All right, guys. So for me, we now have a higher high. And we're at a nice weekly level in a weekly uptrend. All right. So we like this level. I, di I did say there's one thing I don't like, and it's the fact that we're hitting the moving average 20 potentially. But there's enough reasons to like this trade. Okay, so it is a trade idea for today. I just want to I just want to let you know that I'm aware of these things, and you know, that's what I that these are all the things I'm looking at. So we've got to put in a target. So it makes sense to make, you know, the next area of resistance, sorry, of yeah, of resistance a target. So up here. But I'm also going to aim for this psychological level of 9,300, 9,300. Yeah, just bump there. Okay, so maybe a few pips before that. But you get the idea. 9,300 is a nice psychological level. So that's the idea, guys. We've got a couple of targets, and we want to take price back up to one, if not both of them. If we drop down to the H4 now, yeah, there, there's a couple of levels yeah, so the, the bigger level is just that weekly zone, all right? So obviously, we're going to have gray zones within that gray zone, yeah? Um, and I could have made these two gray zones one big gray zone. Yeah, I could have done. But let me just show you why um, we have these gray zones. So first of all, this one, the first gray zone is basically these last highs, because how many times do we see that happen? We get a price break retraces yeah what was once resistance becomes support and we can buy it from here so that's the first option guys yeah we can get a bullish reaction in here and we can start buying um the next level is this you can just see you know all i'm doing guys with support and resistance levels is where has price reacted historically if it's reacted there before chances are it will react there again very logical, not rocket science. Yeah, and again, you can see price has reacted many times here before. Okay, so if it doesn't react here, then price could continue on down and it could react in this gray zone. And if it does, we've got the moving average 20 coming up as well. Again, this could be a very nice area. We get a bullish reaction. And when I say a bullish reaction, guys, I mean a h1 and or a h4 candle that tells me buyers are in control if we get that candle i'm going to take some profit back up here yeah um and then i'm going to let some profit run all right guys so yeah pound aussie dollar we're looking to buy this pair um and that is it for my trade ideas guys all right we'll take a look at the news now before we do just quickly if you've enjoyed my trade ideas i give them to you every single day then come join the channel subscribe to the channel right now if everyone enjoyed the analysis also please smash the like button we would love uh, for you to help and support the channel thank you and also guys don't forget all the cool things we do we've got the uh, free discord channel vip discord channel we've got the mentorship program we've got the simply forex youtube membership silver gold legend um so check all of them out in the video description all right let's take a look at the news now <music> So news for Wednesday, the 4th of October, guys. China still on holiday. Slackers. Um, and we've had some big news overnight, guys. Yeah, we had that interest rate decision. You saw what happened with Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar. It's because of this. Yeah, it was as expected, but it's we've seen some New Zealand weakness 
come into the market. Um, but that's been and gone. But we do have a busy news day. I know all of these here are two-star ratings, but they're not, okay? These are all three-star ratings. It's all PMI data, which is basically like inflation for business. So important, guys. So all of these PMI bits of news are important. So at 8.55, we've got services PMI out of Germany. Then five minutes later, we've got the euro. Um, sorry, we got actually, we've got a speaker here. We've got the ECB president speaking. So that's obviously important as well. And then we've got more PMI data, services and composite. If we carry on down, also this news as well, more PMI data but coming out of the UK this time. So 9.30, we've got composite and services PMI. Again, very important, guys. This is going to move the uh, pound. If you're a big oil trader, one thing to look at, we've got an OPEC meeting here, guys. So keep an eye on that. See what's said in there. That could move oil. And then after that, guys, at 1.15, London GMT coming out of the US, we've got non-farm employment. You know, this is a big indicator for the NFPs later in the week. So this is an important figure for the US. Um, could really move any US dollar pairs. And at 2.45, we've got more PMI data. We've got composite and services coming out of the US. Um, yeah, and more PMI data later as well, guys. We've got a 3 o'clock. Uh, London GMT, we've got non-manufacturing PMI and non-manufacturing prices as well. So, and there's more, there's more guys. And at 3.30, finally, um, coming out of the US, we've got crude oil inventory. So that can move oil, uh, Canadian dollar and the US dollar. And also, again, be aware of this at five o'clock, we've got the head of the ECB, Lagarde speaking. So, a really busy news day today, guys. Yeah, maybe not, you know, super duper big news, but lots of big, lots of it, to be honest. Um, so, guys, yeah, there's the news. Be careful of all of that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the vid. If you have, please subscribe, like, and share. Um, I'll see you later on for the um, live stream, 8 a.m. New York EST time. Don't forget that, guys. I'll see you later. Have a great trading day. Adios, amigos.